Look at these little tiny guys. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see in the title, I'm gonna walk through a couple of steps in breeding crayfishes. Uh, I'll do a detailed video later on, on you know the baby crayfish setups and then um, how to properly care for them and what the best layout for the crayfishes are. But uh, I don't know if I actually did a video on these guys. Um, so, uh, like I think yesterday, the pregnant crayfish, the female crayfish gave birth and then let go of all the baby crayfishes. So there they are. I have about, from what I expect, about 50 baby crayfishes. And this is what they look like. They're super tiny. They're all over the tank in this 20 gallon tank, as you can see. And this isn't exactly the setup for baby crayfish. I had multiple different crayfishes in here. But um, yeah, welcome the, I'm welcoming the baby crayfishes. I'm gonna separate them and put it in a breeding little container so I can have this water filtering without them getting sucked into the, the hang on back filter because they will get sucked into the filter if you you know just let them loose like that. But um, I do have uh, crayfishes that were born about two months ago and then they're this big now. And you know they're about, you know, about an inch, uh, half an inch, you know, it varies depending on you know how much they ate and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I have about 30 baby crayfish in here that are about two months old and then right next to it I have a 75 gallon tank and these guys are a little bigger than the other ones these are about inch and a half as you can see they look like you know crayfishes now and they're all over this tank in this 75 gallon tank and it's only half filled uh, so I can do water change a little better and then a lot of hiding spaces and this one is a little large so uh, right now they're like hiding all around the place so I can't exactly show you but this is a 75 gallon tank and it, this 20 gallon tank has a male and two females in here. Um, the male is being aggressive towards the female trying to you know mate and whatnot but this female isn't too like happy with the male in this 20 gallon tank so I'm going to remove this female into a separation chamber right here. So I do have a, as you can see I, I do have a male in there. Uh, because he wasn't you know getting along with the female but this is also in the 75 gallon tank but yeah this is a whole layout and then this 10 gallon tank from now on will serve as a place where I separate all the ones that I'm going to sell so I actually made a deal with a couple of um, uh, retailers and then they want maybe 10 to 20 crayfishes from time to time so I'm going to separate the ones that I'm going to you know that, that are going to ship out in this 10 gallon tank I'm actually going to empty out this tank, get rid of all the gravel so I can do a maintenance uh, quickly. And then this 10 gallon tank right next to it has a male and female in here. And this male um, did a really good job trying to mate with the female and the female currently is pregnant, is buried. I don't know if you guys can see but uh, her, her under her belly, she has a lot of eggs, it's kind of difficult to focus. But anyway, this 10 gallon uh, tank has a very beautiful male, I'll probably have to move him out. Uh, because his, this tank isn't actually doing anything progressive. So uh, and underneath I have a about 15 gallon tank that has bunch of baby crayfishes that are you know a large now you know pretty big about an inch to half inch but they don't seem to do too well so I'm going to move them into the 10 gallon tank that I just said and see uh, what I can do with this space. But yes this is a breeding room space that I have in my in my place um, a lot of 10 gallons and 20 gallon tanks and uh, Kind of mixed up setup, so I'm in the in the in the in the, in the way of uh, figuring things out right now. But uh, yeah, I do breed crayfishes now, and I do have a lot of tips and guides for you guys if you guys don't know how to breed them, and if you guys have a lot of questions in terms of how to care for the young. And I'll do a live and maybe you know a video and whatnot. But the one back there, uh, he grew really really big. He's the largest baby crayfish in this tank. I'm gonna have to remove him since he is so aggressive towards the smaller crayfishes as you can see the size difference but this one was born um, at the same time along with the other crayfish I don't know how this one got so big maybe he was eating the other baby crayfishes that are weak so I'll probably separate this guy into another tank and uh, yeah I'll go from there and then these little tiny baby crayfishes that are born like yesterday I'm gonna move them into uh, little breeding tanks and there's a shrimp Yes, I have so many. They're all over the place, actually. They're all over the place compared to a blue 
Blue Diamond Shrimp, they're very small. You know, they're all doing really great. So yes, and the filter came on. And all right, let me get into doing this and then I'll see you in another video with uh, crayfish breeding information. Bye.